we're going to take a look at understanding the start depth of a toolpath within vCarve Pro or Aspire. I have a basic job set up here with a rectangle, a pocketing, vCarving, and another pocket. So the general here is the outside cut is doing the perimeter cut. We have a main pocketing that removed most of this material. Then we have a V carving toolpath that does some text. Then another pocketing toolpath that is just pocketing inside of a uh, another rectangle. So taking a look at the 2D view, this is what we have. Coming back to the 3D view, we will reset the preview. And I'm going to first do a preview of the V-Carve toolpath. We could preview the selected toolpath, and we see that we have some V-Carving. Looks okay. Switching to the pocket, let's go ahead and preview that selected toolpath. Again, all looking good. Go ahead and preview the outer perimeter. We'll get rid of the waist. Now here is where a lot of people will end up getting into trouble by when they do the main pocketing. We'll go ahead and preview this and we could slow this down to see what is going to happen. It is pocketing out to a depth of a quarter of an inch and it just wiped out the V carving text. Now this is where the start depth is able to come into apply. So currently, we have a pocketing toolpath that is going down to a quarter of an inch. So we removed all of this material down to a depth of one quarter. The pocketing toolpath, we can see we do have a slight rectangle here into the pocketed area. That is because we are going a total cut depth of 0.6 inches or 0.26 inches, so 10 thousandths into the material right here. Then for the V-carving toolpath, of course it's V-carving, so we don't specify any depth, but we are able to specify the starting depth. So we've already removed a quarter inch material around here, so I want the starting depth of this V-carving toolpath to be 0.25, and we will go ahead and calculate that. For the pocketing toolpath, again, we want it to be a total depth of maybe an, an eighth inch deeper than the main pocketing here. To get that an eighth of an inch deeper, we are going to give that a start depth of 0.25 as well. So now we will go ahead and preview all the toolpaths and see what we have. And there we have our V-carving toolpath and the pocketing one cut down into the pocketed area that we've already removed. Let's preview this in opposite order. So I'm going to reset the preview and go ahead and do our two toolpaths first that have a starting depth. We will preview the vis visible toolpaths. We can see that V-carving looks you know, kind of ugly, not really what you would expect to be. But remember, when we come back and pocket that out, it is going to be exactly what it wants to be. So again, we could slow this down so we could see the magic happen. We can now see that that is pocketing out a quarter of an inch, and our V-carving looks correct now. Hopefully, this helps clear up uh, the reasons that you would use the start depth.